Hi, this is Rashid. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining. In case you're new to the channel, this is Rashid. I have 23 years of IC design experience, including 19 years at Intel, and uh, those 19 years was in physical design. I have so far recorded um, digital design, combinational, sequential, then I went into CMOS. And after CMOS, I did a system very large challenge. I didn't, rec I didn't get time to record that on YouTube, but I um we had a, a one week long uh, system very log tutorials that we did uh, in a smaller forum and now i am into physical design and uh, i started with very basics and uh, right now i am on sensor library uh, the timing content of the sensor library i discussed last time um I wanted to discuss about how the tools actually pull that information and build that onto the onto the timing graph. But let's wait for this one till I go into static timing analysis because I think that would be a good place for it. So today's purpose of the today's video is to explain you the power content. A sensor library has generally two type of information timing information which we covered in the last video and the power information which we are doing here again i have explained details of power in cmos circuits and uh, search my uh, cmos videos um, they will have a cmos in the title name and there i explain the sources of different components of power so i'm not going into details of those here this video is about okay for each component what information is present in the sensor library so higher level total power in a cmos consists of leakage power uh, then switching power and as a part of the switching power there's also a short circuit power which happens when the circuit switches so these two are more switching related and this is when the transistors are off um, the the dynamic sorry this switching one has two components as i said one is the charging and discharging of the load which is connected to the output pin which is um, kind of combination of output pin node as well as the capacitive load of the wire that is connected to the output of the cell uh, this thing can be okay this is interesting even when we look into the the signal here let's go one by one actually instead of me explaining this okay well we look at this p leakage so leakage is leakage information is available like this so you have a leakage power and again all this within that NAND cell. So you start with uh, NAND, right? Sorry, AND. Hmm, I thought it was a NAND. Okay, AND is here, and we keep getting this curly bracket start, and then first timing information. And then within that, before it finishes, there is a power information. Right now, we're looking into the power information of power content. And the first component is the leakage power. So leakage, when transistor is supposed to be off, <clears throat> actually current is not zero, some current is always flowing. Details in my CMOS video, how, why that happens. But that, the information is placed, the value of the leakage is different for different combinations of the inputs. It's quite possible that, okay, I mean, this is two input. Um, so A can be one, B can be one. A is zero, B is zero. And based on their values, N mass or P mass are on or off. And leakage can be slightly different in N mass and P mass. Leakage also depends on some of the other, <coughs> excuse me, the transistor characteristics. So there is a component there too. So for all combination of inputs, we have a leakage number. Got it? Second major one, this is the major switching power. As I said, you have you have your device okay it is connected to a metal here right the metal has this net capacitance effective capacitance and this node you know the when inside if it's uh, if it's let's check 
these are our mosses right the moss so this is where all that capacitance is connected so these are charging through here because when this connect to vcc and discharging here so this is really the key one here so what it says is power at the output pin related pin is so with respect to a let's say a is here this color is not a great a and b similarly a and b here so when a relative to a then this makes a transition and you will see that just like delay i explained the delay lookup tables in previous video and just like that you have two indices so it's like a 2d information is placed there going back to let me pull that one yeah i think there's a good one uh, copy bring it here so if you look at this one uh, this one index to output capacitance and this is input transition uh, this one and this one okay for different discrete values so you will have some what it's showing here is um, let's pick a different color point one right this is point one this is point five one dot o for different output this is this is the capacitance at the here so this is this capacitance okay and the input is slew so if this changes is a transition time from 20 to 80 this information is actually also as part of the library this transition time is 10 to 90 or 20 to 80 it's, it's written in the beginning of the library so you can really spot that too but there was one question that definitely i'm just coming to me and i'm thinking okay how we decide that okay um index 2 is this index well, it doesn't matter actually all right ignore what i said uh, so yeah with respect to a with respect to different and then we have then we have i have very committed colors so this 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 is over here right 0 0.01, 0 0.05, and this is slew, like a transition time. Um, so this is changing. So power also depends, the switching power depends on what was the capacitance, what was the input transition time, and you can have different values. Again, if on an actual circuit power capacitance is here, uh, that or just slew is here, so tool can do interpolation. Tool can, tool can also do extrapolation but extrapolation can result in uh, inaccurate numbers. So that is pretty obvious, right? Rise power, fall power. Fall means when this signal is making, so rise is when this signal is making rise transition. Fall is when this signal is making fall transition. Okay, internal power, what is the difference between internal power? I mean, there's a switching power, there's leakage power. So what is internal power? Internal power is, let's say, hmm, let me give you an example. So if it is our circuit, our, let's pick a good picture of the NAND here. This is our NAND. Okay. Oh, why am I not pulling everything? All right. Okay, let's go down. Sorry for back and forth. So if you if you look into this, um, so by by default, sorry. <laughs> so by default, what is internal power? Um, for this type of circuit, I think this internal power is like short circuit power. So remember when N MOS are switching on gradually p masses are switching off or vice versa when these are switching on these are switching off there is a 
short period very short time during which this is on and let's say both these are on one of this is on both of these are on then a short circuit force here that is not a leakage okay transistor are not off they are kind of in a transition region and current sees a path from supply voltage to ground that's a short circuit power so for circuit like this internal power is actually a short circuit power but if you have a circuit like this I'm just cleaning it up if you have a circuit like and gate okay I'm just trying to copy it so that I can I can use a nice oops not that no one it's a nice app so let's say you have an inverter here okay and you connect the inverter and this is connected to um, supply voltage this is to ground oops not a great way um, Alright, so output goes there and this is there. Which circuit is this? So this is AND. So this is NAND and this is inverter. So together this is AND. So in this case, there is a power. Oops, I want to do that. So in this case, um, short circuit is still here. But, this, but in the switching power, that we have here you are actually looking at the capacitive load here what about the capacitance which are on this um, intermediate node so that is an internal power so internal power is a combination of short circuit and any inside node because that is also charging and discharging which was typically previously just an NAND output so yeah this this is why some people get confused with internal power it has both components for a simple circuit just charge circuit but for a multi-stage circuits like these or n or uh, other circuits or multiplexer you you cannot ignore this internal power the intrinsic power all right but uh, in terms of lookup table it, lookup table is the same information it's a when output changes of course this node will also go through that change and that information is captured over here yes that's it i think we are done with the content of the sensor library next time we'll start on to static timing analysis Thank you. Oh, sorry. Actually, um, let's see if it's a timing constraints or else do you need to think about it. Thank you so much. Bye.